All right, welcome everybody to a day in the lab, a Minecraft puzzle map. Now, I figure I haven't proven my stupidity enough to you, my wonderful viewers, so I figured uh, it's time to show what an idiot I am and do a puzzle map. Oh, I found a secret. Wait, what they say I was doing? Uh, go to Claire's office on floor two. When walking out the door, go left and go straight. Take the elevator, go to the hallway on the opposite side. Claire's office is on the right. That's Sarah. That's John. Ooh, storage. Is there a secret here, I wonder? No, no secret there. Is there a secret here, perhaps, I wonder? Ha! Secret two. I am very good at what I do. Okay, where was I going? Uh, head for the main hall, go straight, take the elevator. Ah, the elevator. No, not the elevator. So let's see here. I am terrible at following directions, apparently. Okay. I headed left, the main hall, and head for the main hall. Yeah, this looks like a main hall. Wow. Maybe if I was an elevator. Medical center. Oh, floor two, I guess. But I still haven't found. Man. Floor two, I guess. Okay. Now let's see here. Go to the hallway, the opposite side. Must be this over here. And then Claire's office should be... Animal Friendly Company of the Year. Animal Friendly Company of the Year. Oh! Secret number 19! I think we made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Office, office. God, am I already lost! Am I this bad at following directions? Or is this the puzzle? Oh wait, I'm on floor three. Oh, I was on floor, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I am. Um... Ha! Floor two. And then Claire's office should be on the right. Claire. Ah, Claire. Hello. I succeeded! I've got a... You've got a busy day ahead of you. Uh, work hard because I say so? Most of my colleagues have issues. Your job today is to help fix their problems. Doing science! No! Oh. Uh, there are ten of them in total. If you can help eight of them, that's enough. Work hard because I say so. Got it. Good luck. Thank you. So, who needs help? You don't need help. No animal testing. Why do I not believe that? Some place that advertises this much animal testing, uh, they're, they're probably doing animal testing. Let, let's be real. They're probably doing animal testing. Rock chamber, tree chamber, level two department, CEO office. No, I'm curious about something here. What's up here? Ooh. There is a secret here, I'm sure, but I don't really care enough to go looking for it. Unless. That probably has something to do with it, but again, I I can't be bothered. My time is too important. I must help people. Important locations on each floor. Reactor bio. Alright, let's go do the let's go do the biohazard room, you know? Hello, do you need help? Could you help me verify my lab test results? You can find them logging in the computer. Use a specimen chamber to verify the results. All the information tools you need are in here in the lab center. Make sure to take a close look at the posters. 
I effect, Snowflake Virus, S tier, P oop, Sponge Bacteria. Okay. What am I verifying? One poop, two infect. Infect. So do I just need to verify all of these different... You forgot the parameters you need to... Wait, nope, nope, nope. I am in the... I am in this room. Let's do this virus here, the sponge virus. Motion forward. For five seconds, do I, I throw you there. I don't know if that did anything. Let's see here. Duplication period, five seconds. How do I, how do I dictate the motion? I don't see an option for motion. Do I just need to make uh, X amount of didn't work for you. I don't get it. Good morning. Uh, let's see here. You can find them logged on the one poop to infect. Oh, I think I get it now. One poop, two infect. So the poop virus duplicates back and forth. What if I do something like this? Uh, let's see here. I don't know if this is actually going to work. I don't think that verified anything. So. 62 S tier. Two sponge bacteria. I get this puzzle now. How long I cook it for. Okay, I get it now. I get it. So I need to cook these things. So for example, I need five snowflake virus, two poop, one infect. So we'll start with the simplest one first. One poop, two infect. I get it now. One poop. I need to make two the infect. So one poop is three seconds. It can grow up and down. The infect. Poop. Sponge virus. The infect grows up and down. Its duplication is two. This duplication is three. So I need one poop. Three seconds. Okay. Ooh, let's make sure the... This would be way easier if these posters were closer. So this grows up and down, right? This grows side to side. What if I do this one down here? One poop for two infect. A three second distillation period and a two second period. Okay, so let's throw this bad boy in for two seconds. Nailed it. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, right down in order here. Uh, let's see here. Just did that one. Uh, 62 S tier. 
62 of you. All right, so what do you do? I need to somehow grow 62 of you. So you grow everywhere. Well, let's see how long... I just want to see this. Got it. S tier. So this is a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 16. 16 times 4, 32, 64. So that's a 64. Okay. That's a 64 block. So I need 62, but I need the sponge bacteria to duplicate twice, basically. Sponge bacteria. So I need to limit what sponge bacteria can do. That's going to be the tricky part. The sponge bacteria can produce in five seconds. So what I'm thinking here is if I do something like... Sponge bacteria grows... Oh, that's... Okay, this is going to be real easy then, since the sponge bacteria can only grow in one direction. And then I'll just place this here. Ah, hell, I'll just give it all 10 seconds. Nope. Not quite. I didn't... I didn't quite get it. So hang on, I need to give the sponge bacteria more time to do its thing. Three, four, five. Nice! All right, so that's uh, 14 something or other done. Five snowflake virus. Okay, that seems a bit tough. I need five snowflake virus. It's got a one second growth time. So the time period on this is going to be five seconds. This thing basically grows everywhere, and I somehow need to grow five of it. Yeah, I need to grow five of it. The poop virus grows up and down. Sponge virus grows one. Okay, so the sponge virus, that's gonna be the easiest one. That's just gonna end up going like here in the corner so it only do so it doesn't duplicate. Real easy. That's sponge virus done. One infect. So the infect grows side to side. Basically, I also kind of need to corner this one. And the time period here is going to be five seconds. On that time, that should grow once. Up, down, left, right, everywhere, basically. So if I do something like... Up, down, left, right. So that's going to... All right, so I really need to limit... Oh, I screwed it up already. The trick is going to be to limit the snowflake virus, since it can grow everywhere at once. So it basically needs to grow five times in that second. I want to experiment with how this works. Hmm. Up, down, left, right. Okay. So I need this to grow five, but I get how it expands now. So if I do something like one, what if I do something like this? I put it in the corner, limit it with the SpongeBob bacteria. One, two, so that'll force it to grow one, two, I need to fill up this whole space here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think that's how those two would work together. Next, I need two of the poop virus. That grows up and down. What if I do something like one, two, three, four, five? What if I limit this thing like that? 
one of the infect virus, which can just grow side to side. Nah, that's not gonna work. This virus here, that virus there. They limit themselves. This virus here. Yes, I know. This is a tough puzzle. I'm looking like an idiot. Start. Damn it. Hmm. Alright, so what about this? If I limit poop... I just limit poops up and down. No. Alright. I've wasted 23 minutes playing around with this. My sanity's I'm I'm going nuts. I'm I'm gonna figure this out. I don't know how, but I promise you I will. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. I just need to set it to four seconds. Mm -hmm.